You have to carry water with a wheelbarrow and use buckets. There's a big truck that brings water. So when one of you sees it and you see somebody start running with containers, you, you, have, you all have to follow suit and start running. Then you have to go and put your containers there in line. That's how you get water. There are places that are going weeks without water. There are places where the sanitation situation is so bad that people are digging their own toilets because there's just been absolutely no attempt by the municipality to help them with their sanitation issues. So with that work and us releasing the data that we're getting as scattered and haphazard as it was, and I think that's how we got the municipality's attention. We started publicizing them on social media as well as bringing them to the municipality and that's how they started bringing up STEAM and the municipality actually came up with what they call a um, COVID timetable, which was basically a timetable of when the water came, uh, how it was being delivered. In the beginning, when COVID-19 started around March, that is the only time when what's on paper at the municipality started working. The truck used to come here three times a week. By the end of April, the guy only came here once. So it got worse. How do you sanitize? We don't have flushing toilets. We use pit toilets. You cannot touch anything as per uh, uh, corona rules. But if we had taps, maybe like one tap per street, it wouldn't be like that. Because then you would know that when you go there at any given time, there is water. But waiting for a truck to come, we fight over water. 